Hello and welcome back to our 31 Days of Horror Advent Calendar. Today it's Tuesday, October 25th, and we're talking about today's selection, Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat came out in 2007, and it's a movie of five interwoven stories that all happen on Halloween night. There's a wide range of different little stories that are going on. I think that's kind of the fun of this movie. It, we're getting really close to Halloween time, and it is just right on theme with where we're headed soon. Yeah, this movie is a great watch to, to pop on, you know, just before Halloween. It's such a it's such a festival, like, Halloween film. I love how, like, some of the concept is, um, there's, like, this little boy that stalks the people that... Sam. Kick, Sam. That kick uh, jack-o'-lanterns and kick them out before Halloween's over, and he's going to come after you if you do such a thing. So I, it's such a it's a, it's such a fun movie. It's definitely one of those that you have to watch. I think on like during the hollow, uh, the Halloween season. The movie stars Anna Paquin, Brian Cox, and Dylan Baker, uh, which I think Dylan Baker's role is very interesting. Is this uh, very very strange father that lives in the neighborhood? It's also written and directed by Michael Dougherty, who is a, uh, an acolyte of Brian Singer and uh, is also known for uh, writing X2, Superman Returns, just recently X-Men Apocalypse, and he also wrote and directed Krampus, which came out recently. This movie is like a graphic novel for uh, Halloween, and I think one of my favorite storylines is like you said uh, with uh, Dylan Baker's character, the principal. Or I think he's, uh, I think he's, I think he is a principal, he's yeah. a middle school principal, and he has a son, and he's super creepy. That whole storyline, I was like, holy crap, this movie is dark. Yeah, it's, it's actually one of the few storylines that actually does kind of run throughout the whole movie. Like, each of them are these little vignettes, but his is one of the ones that, him and Sam, anyway, are the two that really are the through lines in this film. You also get Brian Cox in this film, and he's the neighbor to uh, Dylan Baker's character, the principal. And he's kind of uh, this drunk, I guess, and he doesn't like the festivities of Halloween. And his storyline, I think, is probably the most important, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, he kind of plays this grumpy old neighbor who is just not into everything that's going on. Uh, no, yeah, it's just, it's a fun little ensemble movie, uh, and just a really great one to watch around this time of year. You get great gore effects, and there is actually, I will say, there's a, there is a scene that involves uh, werewolf transformation, and it is excellent, I think. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't expecting that in this film. I was, you know, I... I figured they'd do something CGI, but it was actually practical effects, and it looked really awesome. Just like skin being peeled off, like thrown on the ground. It was a great, it was a great werewolf transformation. Mm -hmm. You don't see that. You never get werewolf films. So, yeah, this movie has a lot of variety. It's kind of this interesting mixed bag of candy, if you will, for the Halloween season. So there's things that I definitely really like, some things that I don't like quite as much. But I think that's the fun of this movie. I think that everybody pulls out a little bit something different that they really like about it. So guys. That's been our short review today of Trick or Treat for your Tuesday, October 25th. Hope you guys check this one out. Tell us what you think in the comments. Don't forget, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. You can also follow us at, on Twitter at back to feature We'll discuss movies with you guys all day long. I've been Giovanni Carlo. And I'm John Vandaloo. We'll see you guys tomorrow.